everyone, we're at the infamous door where Jamal Bowman claims he had to pull a fire alarm to get out. Now these doors are open on weekdays. Every member of Congress knows that, everybody that works here knows that. But on Saturdays and Sundays, they are locked and only certain doors are open on Saturdays and Sundays. Now come on over here. This right here is a fire alarm. Nowhere does it say, pull the fire alarm to open the exit door. Doesn't say that and I think ex-middle school principals know better. Let me show you how we go when we need to go vote. I know this because my office is in here in Keenan Building. Come on, go this way. Oh, look, there's stairs. By the way, we had to use the stairs to evacuate the Cannon building after Jamal Bowman pulled the fire alarm. members of Congress, we can continue to go down the stairs this way, and you can go in the basement, and we can walk in the tunnel that goes under the road to the Capitol. We do that all the time, especially if the weather's bad. Or you can come around this way. See where that says exit? It exits out on New Jersey. This one is open all the time, not just some of the time, all the time. So let's explain very clearly again. Jamal Bowman didn't pull the fire alarm to try to get out of the building because he had to rush to go vote. I know that for a fact because I also work in the Cannon office building and I watched Catherine Clark, the Democrat whip, make a motion to adjourn and then within minutes, Jamal Bowman pulled a fire alarm and he knew he was pulling a fire alarm because he's a former middle school principal. And then he ran out of the building and didn't tell anybody he did that. And this building was evacuated for over an hour and Congress had to hold the vote open. That's usually only 15 minutes on the first vote. They held it open for over an hour as well. There's some serious problems for Jamal Bowman and he needs to be prosecuted for violating the same federal law that they are prosecuting January 6th defendants and President Trump.